it guys, you might ever tell. Welcome back to Godox Lighting 101. Today we are looking at Godox R200 lights, which is a ring light, belongs to the 8200 family, powered by the 8200 Pro or 8200 batteries. R200 is already a very soft light, which you can use as on-camera flash, as well as off-camera flash. You can attach the camera on the lights. I don't do that. I can constantly swap between on-camera flash and off-camera flash whenever I needed to. There are two reasons I do on-camera flash. The first reason is the sort of retro Andy Warhol sort of style I'm looking for. The second reason is that on-camera flash allows me to move easier with the model uh, without much hassle, right? It's easier for me to catch the movement shots. And sometimes it could be both. My favorite accessory to go with it is RTF25S, which is this. So the light from the ring flash reflects on the inside layer back to the external silver layer and reflects back. Because it reflects twice, when it hits on the model, it has no hot spots. So you wouldn't see any sort of oily highlights of the model. If you look for an all-rounder, both as a soft on-camera flash as well as off-camera flash. As a matter of fact, this is my go-to accessory with R200. The reason I love R200 plus the RTF 25S is that it's a very unique light source. It's somewhere between the umbrella and the beauty dish. It's softer than Beauty Dish, but it has more contrast, especially harsher highlights comparing with Umbrella. It could come to your advantages. For example, there's a sunlight coming from this way, right? I can go use the sunlight as my hair lights and use the R200 as a key light for her face. I can have the sunlight as a side light and fill in the shadows with the R200. And I can get a model to face the sunlight and fill in all the shadow details, especially her eyes details and fill in her eye sockets shadows. I can get the sun as a key light over the model's face. I can get the model's use hands to block the sun so it's not hurting her eyes so much. And I can have the R200 as on-camera flash to fill in the shadow details. So you see guys, natural light can be very good, but the things with natural light is you have to shoot for beautiful lights first, right? Because we know if it's bad lighting, no matter how good the composition is, it's still a bad picture. 
with a flash, you can have more flexibility with composition, right? Because you can change the lighting scenario by adding more light sources. That gives you so much more freedom in terms of creating images. On top of the RTF 25S, which is a reflector, you can add the grid as well as the color gel. I personally use the color gel to warm up the lights to mimic a patch of sunlight. And sometimes I use grid too, as you see just now. I just want a pocket of light, heat on her face with minimal impact on the wall as a background to have a really narrow beam, like a pocket of lights on her face to create these dramatic shots. Hey guys, you see it's a beautiful city background. The problem is the sun does not sit the way I want it to be as a short light. Uh, it's rather, you know, from sideways. I need something to leave up the, the shadow. That's why R200 would be extremely helpful in this case. I used to use umbrellas a few lights, then I realized that with a harsh sunlight background with umbrellas so soft in the foreground, it just doesn't blend. And in this particular scenario, I feel like a beauty dish, or in this case, R200 plus 25S reflector would be a very good choice. You see, the reflector delivers this even light, but yet it comes with contrast to define, it has its definition on her nose, on her cheekbones. As you guys see, there's harsh sun coming from the background. If I use umbrella, it will be too soft for my taste. The 25S delivers this beauty-like lighting, works extremely well for my taste in this scenario. The ring flash works with umbrella too, with the umbrella holder. You can use a ring flash with umbrella by itself. I personally will keep the RTF 25S on the ring flash all the time to give it soft light. The reflector light being further diffused by the umbrella, which is makes it even softer. So with multiple sort of reflection and diffusion makes the light very soft, like ambient light. That's how I am going to do the shot here for the summer vibe.
So we have to understand the quality of light in this scenario that sun is extremely harsh because it's extremely small light source. Cloudy day like this, the light has been diffused by the cloud. It becomes very soft. That's why we need to diffuse our light through the umbrella to match it. You can diffuse the R200 light with umbrella straight away. Personally, I like double diffusion just to make it softer, to be more close to the ambient light. Think of this way. The cloud diffuses the sun and bouncing on the floor and bouncing back to her face as a few lights. That's the light we are trying to mimic here. If I'm using R200 and diffuse that through the umbrella, that's slightly more directional than what I was trying to mimic. Here. So if I keep the 25S, on the light. So that already diffused the light once, and then we diffuse that with the umbrella, so that the light is going to be more even, going to be more subtle. Personally, I feel like that's closer to what I experience. Today, I showed you a couple of examples how to use R200 combined with RFT25S reflector as a go-to combination to shoot with cloudy day, to shoot under shadows, to mimic a patch of sun, to use it as on-camera flash, to use it as a fill light, to use it as a beauty light. Because this combination is so lightweight, it's a perfect choice for run and gun kind of portrait photographer. I hope you guys enjoyed this photo shoot. This is your mind Aries Tao. I will see you in the next episode.